All right, people. This is how to catch catfish in winter. Step number one, if you're gonna catch catfish in winter, you gotta make sure it's winter first. And I do believe this qualifies as winter. I was uh, gonna get my cast net and maybe some hooks and stuff out of here. But to be honest with you, I don't feel like moving all this snow. So I'm gonna deal with what I got. Down the road we're gonna go. This is ridiculous right here. This is pure ice right here, a lot of places, people. There's a couple clear spots. But when you're coming off this hill, in this kind of weather, you gotta watch what you're doing. There will be some bad spots. There's lots of turns, lots of places for you to end up down the hill, in somebody's yard or possibly through somebody's house. As you can see, we are living in the frozen tundra. There we go. Yeah, see this is all, oh yeah. I don't have this truck in gear. I've got it in neutral. I just let it do its own thing going down this hill and I'll I'll tap the brake here and there, you know what I mean, if I get too much out of control. Of course, if I feel it start to slide, you gotta let off the brake. Somehow, I always manage to get around in this old two-wheel drive Ford truck. Now this is solid ice on a turn. Solid ice on a turn, woo! I felt it start to break loose, so I let off my brakes. Don't hold on your brakes going around the turn. I'd like to get some of this crap off my dang windshield. Of course, it, uh, my fluid won't come out because it's uh, plugged up with snow, I guess. So this is what I'm dealing with. I got some streak showing here, I should be all right. I come down off this hill yesterday and uh, it wasn't near this nice. There were quite a few vehicles off the side of the road, in the ditch, all that sort of thing. All right, people, we gonna head on down river. Oh, about 60 miles. There ain't no big catfish right here in this part of the hills. Got to get down there to that old Tennessee River. Come on through, bud. I'll let you through first. You was before me. It is, this road is ice. See, yeah, he's slipping and sliding. It's pure ice. Well, he wasn't too friendly. He didn't wave when I waved. I should have shot him a bird. What I should have done. I'll shoot your bird next time I see you, buddy. Maybe he was too scared to let go of the wheel. Yep. All wheel drive done met its demise. Uh huh. Look at here, people. That's why you don't buy four wheel drive, you buy a two wheel drive like I got. You know, when I first moved to Tennessee, 
Uh, I was raised in Florida, and we didn't have all the snow and stuff. So the first thing I noticed when I got up here and started going through winters was all these four-wheel drives, all-wheel drives, front-wheel drives had ran off the road, were stranded. So the first thing I went and did when I got here and realized what was going on is I invested in a good two-wheel drive Ford truck. So that's what I'm in and I don't have these problems. All right, people. Step two of catching and catfish in the winter is you need some bait. Now my cast net is up under 25 foot of snow in that boat, and it's probably froze hard as a rock. So I'm gonna do this the lazy man's way. I've got to have bait. I'm headed down this way anyway, so I'm gonna call up the big fish outfitters and see if they've got some old live gizzard shad. I want it fresh. I've already got some frozen skipjack, but I don't know if they'll hit frozen skipjack in this cold weather. I don't know. So I'm going to call the big fish outfitters here. Big fish outfitters, this is Hannah. Hey, uh, this is that old catfish Dave guy. What's up? Hey, have y'all got a uh, live gizzard shad? Yeah, we got small and medium. Small and medium? Yeah. Oh man, I was wanting large and large. Well, oh. <laughs> biggest we got is mediums right now. Uh, how much are the med mediums a piece? Two dollars a piece. Two dollars a piece. I'll tell you yes, what, uh, go get me about, give me 15 of them medium Gizzard Shad, have them for me in a bag, and I'll be there in about 20 minutes. All right, I'll have them ready for you. Thank you. Yep, see you. See you. Good old Big Fish Outfitters. What would I do without them on a day like this? Four falling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. They didn't get near as much snow down this way, and that's fine with me. I don't care that much about standing knee deep in snow, no how. There it is right there, people. Big fish outfitters. Rain, sleet, or snow, Big Fish Outfitters is the place to go. These people got it together. You ain't got to wait if you want bait. All right, people, step number three, catching catfish in winter is fine water. You can see it right out there. 
down here in uh, Kingston, Tennessee. Now I am uh, 52 or 53. I'm not sure. I'm either 52 or 53. But I caught my first fish when I was three years old. So I'm estimating that was around the year 1970. It was a rainbow trout up in Bridgeport, California. I've been fishing for about 50 years. And 50 years, one of the most important things I've learned is you're gonna catch your fish in the water. Now this just doesn't apply to catfish, okay? This can apply to any species of fish. Fish are most likely gonna be found in the water. All the ones that I've seen out of the water, uh, they weren't in good shape. Not good enough shape to hit your bait anyway. So, water's the next step. Now, that we're getting some water drop because we got a bunch of rain and snow. So, uh, it's not really a good time to be fishing the backwaters while they're dropping water. So, I'm going to pull right up here to this old uh, duck poop dock. It's got another name, I call it, but I'll call it duck poop dock today. It'll get me to the channel. As long as I get a long enough cast and I can get over that ledge, I should be able to get something right here. All right, people, step number four, put bait on the hook. I've got that old Big Fish Outfitters Fresh Gizzard Shad. All right, people, step number five is to cast this bait out in the water. If it ain't in the water, it ain't doing you no good. Step number six, wait for a fish to hit your bait. One thing I want to mention whenever you buy a shad from a bait shop like this, always save the receipt. That way if you don't catch nothing, you can take them back and say, hey man, you sold me some bad bait. Temperature right now is about 20 degrees with a breeze. I got these uh, jalapeno Vienna sausages and the old jelly stuff is about froze up on top. Step number seven is to reel in the fish.
There it is. There's how to catch catfish in winter. To catch more catfish in winter, you repeat steps four through seven. We got lights ready. All I gotta do is plug them in. I'm gonna crank this heat up. Barely got that window cracked where I can hear them clickers. Still big chunks of ice in my water, man. It ain't much, but on a day like today, I'll take it. Bottom line, people, catfishing in winter is pretty much the same as fishing in spring, summer, and fall. You put some bait on a hook, and you throw it out there in the water. It ain't rocket science. Fish gotta eat. Fish are in the water. You know, I mentioned about keeping that receipt on that bait. I might take that stuff back in the morning and say, look man, I only caught two fish on that shed. I just hope I can get back up this icy hill. I'm pretty sure I can. Because like I said at the beginning of the video, I invested in a two-wheel drive Ford truck. Oh, it is icy. I'm spinning a little bit. The things you got to do to put out weekly catfish entertainment. This is a video, there was fish in the video, that makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.